Proclaim the salvation of God day by day. Tell among the nations his glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today is the feast day of St. Bartholomew, and we will pray a Gloria in this celebration of the Eucharist. Mass will be offered for the repose of the souls of Fred and Kitty Polka. Let us now turn to God our Father as we ask forgiveness for our sins so that we might be better prepared to celebrate the mysteries of our faith. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have, have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Strengthen in us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew, during doing, clung wholeheartedly to your Son, and grant that through the help of his prayers your Church may become for all the nations the sacrament of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. The angel spoke to me saying, come here, I will show you the bride, the wife of the lamb. He took me in spirit to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It gleamed with the splendor of God. Its radiance was like that of a precious stone, like jasper, clear as crystal. It had a massive high wall with 12 gates where 12 angels were stationed and on which names were inscribed, the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. There were three gates facing east, three north, three south, and three west. 
The wall of the city had 12 courses of stone as its foundation, on which were inscribed the 12 names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your, your friends, friends make, make known, known, O Lord, Lord the, glorious the glorious splendor, splendor of, of your, your kingdom. kingdom. Let all your works give thanks, O Lord. Let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your, your friends, friends make known, O Lord, Lord the, glorious the glorious splendor of, of your, your kingdom. kingdom, making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures through all generations. Your, your friends, friends make, make known, known, O Lord, Lord the, the glorious splendor of, of your kingdom. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Alleluia, alleluia. That you may worthily proclaim this holy. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, how do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? you will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. In chapter one of his gospel, St. John relates how two of John the Baptist's disciples heard the Baptist say, behold the Lamb of God 
when Jesus passed by. Those two disciples then left John and went and followed Jesus. And one of them was Simon Peter's brother, Andrew, who introduced Jesus to Simon, who also became a follower. Then Jesus and the three disciples went to Galilee and found Philip. And this brings us to today's story of Philip finding Nathanael. Now, Nathanael at first did not believe Philip's assertion about Jesus as the Messiah. It was only after Philip uh, told him, come and see, meaning come and believe, that Nathanael went to see Jesus and had the encounter with him whereby Jesus told Nathanael he had seen him under the fig tree something Nathaniel knew that only someone from God could do. And so he expressed his belief in Jesus as the Son of God. Nathaniel became one of Jesus' 12 apostles, but in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, he is mentioned under the name of Bartholomew. He witnessed the majority of Jesus' ministry along with his death and resurrection. Afterwards, it is thought that Bartholomew was a missionary to India and was eventually flayed and crucified for his testimony of Jesus' life and teachings in Armenia. It is today that we celebrate the Feast of St. Bartholomew, who is the patron saint of Armenia. We have come and have believed through sacred scripture and the doctrines of the Catholic Church that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. We are aware of his promise of his kingdom the new Jerusalem that is described in today's reading from the book of Revelation, that glorious kingdom that we heard in today's psalm is for all ages. As believers and followers of Jesus, may we spread the good news of God's kingdom to those who need to hear it as we bear out our response. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Father, we come before you in humility, but confident that you hear our prayers as we place our needs in your presence. That the Holy Spirit may nurture in our bishops the missionary zeal of Bartholomew and the other apostles who, in whose succession <coughs> they serve, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the peace of Christ may touch all nations and lead them to tolerance, understanding, and harmony, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those experiencing grief or emotional anguish may be freed by the Holy Spirit from all their distress, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That members of this faith community, in times of doubt and fear, may experience the strong and comforting hand of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are working to end the coronavirus, that God will give strength to all who are caring for the sick, 
wisdom to those searching for a cure, and insight to those working on a vaccine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may be called by Christ into the splendor of the heavenly Jerusalem, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray also for all of those intentions that have been either emailed to us or text or by phone, uh, all of those intentions communicated with us here at St. Mark's. We place them today in our prayer of the faithful so that all of you at home know that we continue to pray with you and for you at this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray also for the special intention of this Mass for Jim and Kit, Kitty Polka, for their, the repose of their souls, for our own family members and friends, and for those who have died recently and all who are called suddenly from this life each day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we make our prayer to you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. As we celebrate anew the feast day of Saint Bartholomew, O Lord, we pray that we may obtain your help through the intercession of the Apostle, in whose honor we bring you this sacrifice of praise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, 
we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you, my Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gustavo and Michael, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Martha the Evangelist, Saint Bartholomew, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
<clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on her sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other an appropriate sign of peace. Larry, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Christ. The blood of Christ.
I confer a kingdom on you, just as my Father has conferred one on me, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, says the Lord. Let us pray. As we celebrate the feast day of blessed apostle Bartholomew, we have received the pledge of eternal salvation, O Lord, and we pray that it may be of help to us both now and for the life to come through Christ our Lord, amen. bow down for the blessing. The response to each blessing is Amen. May God who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations graciously bless you through the glorious merits of the holy apostle Bartholomew. Amen. May he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the apostles make you under their protection witnesses to the truth before all. Amen. So that through the intercession of the apostle Bartholomew, you may inherit the eternal homeland, for by his teaching you possess firmness of faith. Amen. And may almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Now, let us pray together our prayer to Our Lady of Guadalupe. Our Lady of Guadalupe, in these times of tribulation, we turn to you, O Mother. See with compassion the suffering of your beloved sons and daughters affected by the coronavirus pandemic throughout the entire world. Ask your son to have mercy on us, bringing healing to those infected and protection to all your children. Jesus Christ, Savior of all people, grant us courage to accompany and care for the entire world in the wake of sorrow and uncertainty. We seek refuge in you, and according to your promise, deliver us from this danger Amen. Saint Anthony of Padua, Saint Mark the Evangelist, Saint Bartholomew, Our Lady of Guadalupe.